there is an important test question on rate of change. I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my YouTube channel and the website Global Math Institute. We have a very important test question for you, which is based on rate of change of water level. Water is filling a three meter long trough at a rate of 2340 centimeter cube per minute. Trough has a cross section shape of an isosceles trapezoid with a height of 25 centimeters and a base of 20 centimeters with top width of 30 centimeters. How fast is the height of the water level rising? when the height of the water is 15 centimeters. Now, this is a very important test question. I'd like you to pause the video, understand question, make a sketch, relate the parameters, find the derivatives, and then answer the question. Let's try to read and understand the formula involved in this. So, we're talking about an isosceles trapezoid. Now, what is that? Let me sketch one and then we'll label. So, trapezoid, I saw this trapezoid is something like this. So, the, the sides are exactly the same, right? So, that is how it is. So assume that, right? So, that is the cross section and it has a length given to us, something like this, right? The dimensions given are 20 centimeters is the base, 30 is on the top. And then we are also given the height. Let me draw a dotted line here, right, the same. Height of 25 centimeters, right? So, this is 25 centimeters. We need to find how fast is the height of water level rising when the height of the water is 15 centimeters. So, let's say somewhere here, right? How fast is this water level rising? That is what we need to figure out. When it is being filled at a given rate of 2340 centimeter cube per minute, right? So, that is the rate of change of volume, right? So, so, we are given that the rate of change of volume dv dt with time that is, is 23.40 centimeter cube per minute. Now, we need to find the formula, right? So, what is the formula for the cross section area times length, right? Length is given to us as 3 meters. So, so 3 meters, we should write this in centimeters, right? Because all the dimensions are given to us in centimeters. Correct. So, so that is the situation. As far as the trapezoid is concerned, let's have a second look at it. Let me make it slightly bigger. How do we relate the area of cross section to this, right? Let's say we are interested at any particular instance of time when water level is given by this blue line. We know this is 20, right? And that one is 30. Isosceles means both are same. And therefore, 
that being 20 here, right? The two sides will be what? 5 and 5, right? 5 and 5. So, if you look at this particular triangle here, we can see that the height can be related with the width on the top. So, we know this is 25. So, from similar triangles, we can say that the value x over here and height h will be related to a bigger triangle. Right? So, we have this bigger triangle. I am just making it here now. Where on the top we have 5 centimeters and this side 25. But for a height of h, this is x, right? So, how are they related? Well, clearly, x over h is equal to 5 over 25, which is 1 over 5. And so, we can say that x is 1 fifth of h. Clear? x is 1 fifth of h. Now, we can find the area of this water level, right? So, the, the area of this portion, which I like to shade now, where the water is, is how much? Half of height, which is h, let us say, right, times sum of these two lengths, right? So, the base is 20 plus here we have 20, correct, plus x and x. So, these two are equal x, right. So, I will write 2x. Is that clear to you? So, that becomes the area of cross section, right. Volume, of course, will be multiplied by the length, which is 300 centimeters in this case, right. So, let us simplify this. We get what? We get half of h times, well, you can multiply half into these, right, but let, let, we'll do it later or let's do it. So, we can say h times 20, 20, half is 20, right, plus 2 divided by 2 is x, is that clear to you, right. So, we can now write x as one-fifth of a. And we can open this bracket to write it as 20h plus one fifth of h square. So that becomes the area of cross section at any instance of time, right? When the height is h. So we got an expression of area in terms of height of water. And now we can find the rate of change of water height with respect to time, right? So, the formula for volume will be what? Well, volume will be area into the length, area being 20 h plus one fifth of h square, and the length is given to us as 300 centimeters. You need to convert that to centimeters, right? All heights are in now centimeters. So, that becomes the volume, which of course, you can open the bracket and figure this out, right. But now, let us equate this to the equation volume as a function of height and we can now find the derivative and get our answer, right. So, I hope till now the derivation is absolutely clear and steps involved are very simple after attending university. The winner of this year's Certificate of Achievement Shulik Leader Award is Akshi Kandivani. Great. Our student, Akshit, gets highest marks and the most prestigious Shulik Leader Award.
you can be there. Join our classes and excel. Take the derivative and do the needful, right? So, volume, which is area into the length, is how much? We got 300 times 20h plus 1 fifth of h square, right? So, taking derivative with respect to time, we get dv dt equals to derivative of 20h is 20, right, plus 1 fifth of h square, 20 dh dt, right. We are differentiating with respect to time plus 2 over 5 h dh dt times 3m, perfect. So, now we need to find dh dt when height is 15 centimeter. Is that clear to you? Perfect. We know dv dt which is 2340. So, let us write down 2340 which is constant, right, times 20. I will take dh dt common plus 2 fifth of h times dh dt. And we can divide by 300, right? So, we have an expression which can help us find the rate of change of height at any instance of time, right? Now, when h equals to 15, we can substitute 15 here, simplify our expression. So, we can say that 2340, we can calculate later, do not worry divide by 300 equals to 20 plus 2 over 5 times 15 for height, right, times dh dt. So, we get the solution. Rate of change of height with time when height is 15 will be equal to what? Well, 2340 divided by 300. And we will also divide by this number, right. So, 5 goes 3 times. So, we have how much? 20 plus 2 times 3, which is 26, right. So, times 1 over 20 plus 2 times 3, which is 26. Is that clear to you? So, let us use the calculator to figure this out. 2340 divided by 300 times 1 by 26 or we can say divided by 26 is equal to 3 over 10, correct. So, let us recalculate 2340 divided by 26 this time and then divide by 300 gives us 3 by 10. So, the rate of change of height at this instance of time is when height is 15 centimeters is equals to 3 by 10 or 0 0.3 I can write, right, centimeters per minute. So, I hope with this, the solution is absolutely clear. Feel free to write your comments and share your views. In case you want to learn from me, you can always send an email on the address given. Thanks for your time and all the best.